Hi gamers, this is Bobby Z Games 2, back to again. Did you know your device can perform much better than you think while you playing games in GameHub Emulator? And that's why I will show you how you can get boosty performance for smooth gameplay. And also I will teach how you use your controller to play any games that support only keyboard and mouse. If you're ready to learn how to do all this, make sure then to hit like and subscribe button for more videos. The first step is you need to download this app called APK Editor. You will find the link in description or in pinned comment. This app allows you to change package name for any APK files or APK app. Now, open APK Editor, and this is the magic key for boost performance. If you have APK file for GameHub, chose APK file. But if GameHub is already installed on your device, click on Installed App. Scroll down and search for GameHub APK file. Click on a PK file. Then click on Common Edit Now. Here, where you can change package name of the APK to this format. com.antutu.abenchmark. Once the installation process is complete, now you are ready to unlock the true power of your device for more FPS and smooth gameplay. This trick almost works on all devices, wherever you have Mali GPU or Aderno GPU. But Mali users will see a massive boost. Now let's move to GameHub Emulator for real test. Open GameHub and Tutu Build and log in to your account. Let's start with quick step of GameHub. In Tutu version, but the process is the same as the original version. Just import all your PC games to GameHub. In Tutu version, once you add them, the emulator will download automatically. The important settings for the game to run it. If you are using low-end devices, use 800 by 600 as game resource in for better performance. But if you are using high device, use 1280 by 720 for better quality. For compatibility layer, use Proton 10.0 ARM64. For translation params, use Extreme. For GPU drivers, use System Driver if you are Mali. For DXVK version, use 1.7.2. For FEX, use 20250910. Now let's move to next setup, how to play Call of Duty MW2 with your controller. Open your Zarchiver and scroll down and click on Anti-Micro to extract the zip file. Link in pined comment. Once you extract it, go back to GameHub and Tutu build. Please connect your gamepad controller to GameHub by clicking on Device Center to find your gamepad controller using Bluetooth, or you connect your device using OTG cable. Once everything is good, now open the desktop container. Now, you need to locate anti-micro file. Double click on anti-micro.exe. Here, with this, you configure your gamepad controller as much as you want but make sure your gamepad 100% support anti-micro. Just do same as I do. Don't miss anything. If you want to save your profile, click on Save. Then you have to name it so you can save all your changes.
If you want to add the load profile, control Anti-Micro, make sure first to move it to Document Folder. The download link in comment, if you need to test it. Now, open the Anti-Micro program again and locate the Load button. From there, you add the Load Profile controller of the game. You can check if all button work before you open the game. Make sure to minimize Anti-Micro. Don't close it or the your gamepad controller will not work after that. Open the game from desktop. Thank you. 